Did you miss the South Indian food series? Well, that's okay because here are my top three learnings. Number one, if I feel like having idli, I should go for rice idli because one plate had given me a 31 mg spike, much lower than when I had rava idli, which had given me a 40 mg spike. And this is despite the fact that both are steamed and both are made of easily digestible carbs. Still, rice idlis give a low result because they are made from parboiled rice, which has resistant starch in it, lowering the glycemic index. Plus, it is fermented and the batter has urad dal in it also, further bringing down the glycemic index. Number two, surprisingly, masala dosa gave me a 31 mg spike, similar to when I had plain dosa, which had given me a 32 mg spike. And I thought that masala dosa will give a much higher spike because of the aloo masala. But that didn't happen. The only thing that aloo masala did was increase the time for my blood sugar levels to come back to normal, from two and a half hours to three hours and 15 minutes. Seeing this result, I'll now prefer to have masala dosa because after eating it, I was happily full. And finally, the two items that gave the lowest spike in the entire series were medu vada, which had given me a 21 mg spike, and rava masala dosa, which had also given me a 21 mg spike. And they had one thing in common, they both had a lot of oil in them. And as we've seen, fats tend to slow down the digestion of food, leading to lower spikes. Overall, I'm quite happy because not only the spikes were not very high in general, but also because of sambar and coconut chutney, no matter what I ordered, the meal became balanced.